Guys, Saturday is really going to be a very, very huge day. Liverpool hosting Everton at the Anfield Stadium. That is the Merseyside Derby. Huge game <coughs> starting up the day. I think at um, it's going to be 14.30 hours. That's when that game of football is going to be played. And it's a Merseyside Derby. You know what happens when a Derby is being played. And obviously, Liverpool need these three points because <coughs> they want to close down on Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur. Another big game I'm here to talk about is Man City versus Brighton. You know, I was thinking of going live and say, no, I shouldn't go live. Let me first do this recording and see whether later I go live or I'll go live tomorrow because we are having lots of games to obviously have to really present live onto this channel. So thank you guys for watching through Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button, comment and share. Guys, <clears throat> we are left with like 200 subscribers to hit 18,000 subscribers and I think we can hit this milestone before the end of this month and with 10 11 days left to really climax this month I know a lot is in your vibe to obviously take us to the next level and um, I've gone ahead to land to one of the people known as Lutalo known as Lutalo Badru he is in Germany Mun Munich and he obviously watches in this channel thank you for watching it through David Sozi from Dubai Thank you for watching in through and Christine Ongino. You guys are obviously great and you always keep it on this channel. And I'll be trying to obviously send shout outs to those people that really watch us on a regular. Now, Pep Guardiola has gone ahead and obviously <coughs> revealed his fears as they prepare to take on Brighton. When you look at the Premier League table, Man City is third with 18 points. Brighton is eighth, sorry, is sixth with 16 points. What does that mean? It means that if Brighton happen to beat Man City, Man City will be below Brighton. And Brighton come to you with nothing apart from their attacking style. They don't change. The way they play Man City is that they're going to play Sheffield and any other team in the world. They have no respect for any team and they continue to play ball left, right and center. And that is Brighton for you. And they are a very good side and Trust me, the way Dizabi plays is a joy to watch. And that's why you see to it that it's being linked to very many teams. And uh, teams like Real Madrid have gone ahead to obviously coming through and <clears throat> really be looking at him as a replacement for Carlo Ancelotti, who is expected to go on and play for Brazil. So Man City are coming to this game of football with a horrible loss. You know, Man City lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers and they lost to Arsenal. And Pep Guardiola has never gone ahead to lose three consecutive games in the Premier League ever since he came in through. This last happened to him when he was at Bayern Munich. And I think it was the season he left when he lost three games in a row in the league. That is Pep Guardiola for you. So it shows you that he's coming in with a lot of respect and a lot of urge to his players to take on Dizabi and obviously make it hard for him to even snatch a point in here now the reason as to why pep needs three points out of this game arsenal tottenham hotspur are two points ahead of him he's having 18 they're having 20. even if he gets a draw on brighton you get he'll find himself in a situation where if arsenal wins you know <clears throat> there will be four points ahead of him and even if spurs win also there will be four points ahead of him something that you wouldn't like to see happen to your side and uh, i think pep all what he needs is a win but pep guardiola is really having a very huge boost as he goes into this game of football as rodri is back rodri has been out for three games and that has been domestic games and all those three games man city have gone ahead to obviously lose them all right they've gone ahead to lose all those three games they lost to Newcastle, that is it, 1-0. They lost away to Wolverhampton Wanderers by, um, by two, two goals to one, and Arsenal beat them by two goals to one, that is it. So, it shows you exactly the situation in which this man is into, and he doesn't obviously want to come in through and obviously not take the advice that you are giving him, and he knows exactly what this game of football is all about. But the return of Rodri is really a very 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 huge boost for the side of man city and the manager of man city has gone ahead to confirm to us that the only player that is really out you know in this fixture is 
Kevin De Bruyne. The rest of the players are readily available to come on and obviously take on the side of Brighton. When you look at Brighton, Julio Ensico and Jaku Moda are really having an injury. Estupian is having a muscle injury that's going to keep him out until the end of this year. Tariq Lamptey, he's having a knock, but he might return. And James Milner is available for selection. So it shows you that uh, he's not having very many players that are really, really, really injured. If at all he's having Mitoma, um, who withdrew from the Japan national team because of some illness. He's having uh, Jao Pedro and Evan Ferguson and Daniel back in the attack. I think that's really great. And Soli March obviously goes ahead obviously with the needful and be available with uh mohod is it mahood into the midfield i think they're obviously going to line up very well now when you look at city i think they're going to be having ederson they're going to place this in four two three one ederson in goal carl walker right back vadio left back john stones and diaz in the central defense then rodri kovacic in the double pivot phil foden is going to be playing as a central attacking midfielder or a right attacking field, then Alves will either take on that role, they will be exchanging with Phil Foden, Jack Grealish left forward or left attack midfielder, and Erwin Haaland will be leading the line. For the side of Brighton, they are having to have his steal in goal, Veltman, Dunk, Webster, Match, that is the back four, then Baleba and, um, and Adingira in the double pivot, Pasco Gross obviously into the central attack midfield area all and so fatty then ferguson will lead the line yao pedro will play as a right attack midfielder and mitoma will play as a left attack midfielder for the side of brighton so that is it and that's how we expect these things to happen in there for you and it's going to be a highly contested game for because you'll never 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 know exactly what this game for is all about but i believe man city obviously going to win this beautiful game for them. they have to win it and they're at home that is a very huge boost. Whether they are playing away at Brighton, I would have gone ahead to say it's hard for them to lift up a win that side because even last season, Man City drew with Brighton at home. That was 1 1. So let's wait and see how that's going to happen. But Ateta, sorry, but Pep Guardiola has come out through and obviously told us the following about Dezabi. And these are the words he's going to hate to say about Dezabi. He has said he's a handsome guy I admire. It doesn't matter the team they face, they play the way. They play the way he comes from italy how he plays is a little counter culture he was at sao sulo and it doesn't matter if it is san siro or turin he plays the same way that is it for the zabi he doesn't change his game then i didn't say then he was at shakta donetsk and shakta have to win at brighton he's doing the same i like to watch his team and it's not a surprise it's the success it's the success he has even when they lose 6 1 to Aston Villa, it doesn't matter. Obviously, that's what I really like about Desabi that he has a specific style of play. That even if he loses out on a game, he continues playing the same. You know, that's what I really love about him. And I think that the one of the managers that we had at Man United who really did that was uh, Louis Van Hal. You know, every time we are playing, he wanted us to play the same way. Whether we are losing or winning, he didn't want the team to change the style of play. And the possession was really high during his era. And I don't think that we've ever gone ahead to possess the ball in any manager's era like that of Louis Van Hal at Manchester United. So that's what Dezabi is bringing at Brighton. Whether winning or losing, he obviously stays the same. And we know that Pep Guardiola is going to hit, obviously, you know, uh tinker with his tactics especially when he's playing some big games like when he's playing arsenal you saw how he did it and the previous two games he won against arsenal last season he obviously tried to obviously uh to really change a little bit into his systems then on brighton he said last season we really last brighton was really too good that's why they qualified for the europe some decisions against them in the last game and they could fight for the usl that's the champions league if they continue at the same level brighton will be one of the toughest toughest tests for city will have this season and he's right he's 100 percent right because brighton is a team that has players whose quality is really good and these players are really being groomed by the manager who tells them go on and attack 
attack, attack, attack. Possession based football is what they do and that's what they feed on. That's why for them, if they won't respect any team, they'll come as you call them to come. They won't really hesitate to see to it that everything goes on as Dezabi wants it to play. So their players are not afraid to lose. All they want to is to execute exactly what the manager really tells them. And that's what really makes this game of Man City and Brighton hard. Because for Brighton, they're not going to come out to mark out a single player. No, they'll press up and they'll do the needful. And lastly, Pep went ahead to obviously comment about the style of football of Brighton. He said, we don't play in a similar way. They are unique for the way they play. We are aggressive without the ball. High pressing, we want the ball like they want it. But the way they play, they do it. So, I think Pep was just trying to give out an excuse. But I see no difference between the way Pep Guardiola plays and how Dezabi plays. These two teams play the same. Because every time they lose the ball, they press to get it back in the nick of time. And even when they're having the ball, they obviously try to do what we call quick passes sometimes and sometimes they obviously try to do those build-ups from the goal area of Brighton. So I think Pep knows exactly that this is his descendant because this man used to obviously write an application with Pep Guardiola was at Barcelona to obviously go and watch him train his players. That is it. So he knows exactly what Pep brings and Pep knows exactly what Desabi brings and that's why this is a good game to watch. They're all going to play. They're all going to play because Brighton will never come <clears throat> with a plan to stop any of the players of Man City to operate freely with the ball. You know, all what they do is that they will obviously restrict you from really having a lot of position in the in the 18-hours box area. You know, and the same applies to Man City. They let you come with your game and they beat you with your game. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But let's go to some head-to-heads. Manchester City have won 10 of their last 12 Premier League meetings with Brighton, one draw and one loss. The only, the only expectations have been in May 2021, 2-3 two, and May 1-1 having already become champions at the time of those matches. So, Man City is a dominant figure into these games of football, right? Then, Brighton have never won an away game against Manchester City. They have two draws. I'm going to hit lose 11. You know, that's what I told you that uh, it's obviously the hands of Manchester City because at home, Brighton has always been bullied by Man City. Then Manchester City have scored at least once in 25 of their 26 league games against Brighton with the only expectation being a 0-0 draw in November in 1984 at the Goldstone ground. So this is really far off from how things were happening. Then... There have been 37 goals scored in Brighton's league matches this season, 21, 4, and 16 against. And the second most of any side of big sides after Granada in the league. So it shows you that Brighton is scoring very many goals, but they are also conceding very many goals. And lastly, Man City have lost consecutive league matches, have lost consecutive matches for the very first time since December 2018 after losing three games in a row in the Premier League back in February, March 2016 under Manuel Pellegrini. Indeed, Pep Guardiola has lost three league games in a row just once before his managerial career with Bayern Munich in 2015. I told you that, that he last lost, he last lost three games in a row when he was coaching at the side of uh, Bayern Munich. But at Man City, in the league, he has never gone ahead to lose three games consecutively. That is it. But he has gone ahead to lose three domestic league games consecutively. Newcastle, Arsenal, and Wolverhampton Wanderers. But remember, in the midweek before he played Arsenal, he went ahead to win against RB Leipzig into the league. So my prediction is 2-1 Man City. <laughs> That's my prediction for that game. So guys, Thank you very much for watching through Rock and Devil remains my name. Hope you guys are really having a fantastic stay and where you are. This is what we do, and I'm going to just remain with one video that is against that is how Arsenal made a high to train and how Chelsea are really ready for the side of Arsenal. So may the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims Baraklao Fikum Rock and David remains my name. I sign up for now. See you later. I want to see your thoughts flocking to the conversation about Man City versus Brighton. As Pep is a prey, as Pep is afraid of the Zabi as they try.
to tussle it out for the third time i think for this i think for the third time in a row ever since Dizabi crossed to the english side i'm out see you later